I'm Jess Willenberg DeBoer, uh, Purdue University. I'm a professor of agricultural economics and uh, I have a, a long uh, history in um, doing economic analysis of precision agriculture technology uh, starting in the 1990s with variable rate application, uh, auto steer, all of those sorts of technologies. One of the technologies that's uh, on the horizon right now is crop sensor technology. And when we think about what does it take for a crop sensor technology to be as successful as uh, light bars or GPS guidance technology. Uh, and I think what it takes is for that sensor technology to be turnkey or as economists say to be embodied knowledge technology. That someone can use that technology effectively and make money with it. The farmer can make money with it without understanding all of the details. They can pick it up, plug it in, use it. Uh, and one of the issues with it is that the technology isn't quite there yet. Uh, there's some hardware issues in the sensors, but probably there's even a bigger issue in uh, the algorithms and the knowledge, the software that uh, makes uh, those sensor readings usable uh, and effective. The growers respond to demonstrated value. Uh, and so once you have a technology that uh, is effective, that does uh, make efficient use of you know, if it's nitrogen or whatever crop input that is, once you have that technology, then it's uh, the dealer's opportunity to demonstrate the effectiveness of that technology. Uh, and probably that happens with some sort of on-farm trials, part participating with some innovative farmers to uh, show them and their neighbors how uh, effective this is.